I've been teaching online for a few years now in uh, a slightly different version of this course that did not use hypothesis. And so, um, you know, I could see that students maybe didn't have as much engagement with the text as they would in a traditional classroom where maybe we'd hand them paper texts or require them to print paper texts or give them paper texts or something like that. Uh, and I could also see that even though we had these synchronous classes where we met face to face and where I was able to form these personal connections with students, there was also this problem where students weren't really connecting as much with each other as they would in a traditional classroom. And I was really struggling with ways to facilitate that. So enter Hypothesis this past semester. Uh, Hypothesis really allowed me to do two different things. More, more, I'm sure, but but two of the things it allowed me to do that I really appreciated were, on the one hand, it got my students much more engaged with the texts and um, at a nitty gritty close reading level so that when they went back to write their essays, they could really incorporate details from the texts and, and they just had much better contact with the texts in class discussions and in their writing. And then on the flip side, Hypothesis created the space for my students to be with each other and hear each other's ideas and respond to each other's ideas where I was largely absent. So I didn't do a lot of responding to or moderating their annotations. I would grade them. There's a very easy way to grade them in Canvas, but then that like did not show up, of course. So what they were seeing on the text was um, each other's ideas, each other's comments, each other's questions. Uh, our very favorite, my very favorite prompt that we had for them was ask a question of the text. And very quickly, I think students realized that really um, they should be asking questions to each other about the text.